and Chanel. On to a winner with that one. Not this girl. But we're not going to speak about that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Selena Gomez 2020 makeup tutorial. Now, I just want to say before we start, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just winging this. So if you've come here looking for some James Charles kind of makeup tutorial you're in the wrong place sweetie now i've got my hair like this because as you can see in this picture which i'm going to nicely insert somewhere over this side she has her hair in a middle part in tied back so i've just done that to start with so we've got the hair exactly how she has it although hers looks a lot better and i look like a five-year-old boy any other products that I do use in this video will be linked in the description box below if they're still available to buy. So the first product we're going to start off with is this mini version of the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Primer. So yes, this is just a little tester version. Poor bitch can't afford the real thing, so we settle for these minis. So I'm just rubbing this all over my face. that's primer done feeling nice and fresh i also just want to state before we go any further i'm not claiming to look like selena gomez i'm not saying that by the end of this video i'm gonna look like her twin this is literally just me trying to copy her makeup style and the hairstyle i guess please don't come for me in the comments like oh you look nothing like her yes i know that sweetie moving on to the next product i'm using this foundation which is the revolution pro foundation drops in the shade f four so like i'm literally just going to be dropping this on my face and this is completely the wrong shade if i'm honest girl is just working with what she's got and then we're just going to blend that in and now on to concealer for the concealer i'm going to use this old little beauty which is the last imperfection concealer this is in the shade Fair One, so probably one of the lightest shades. I'm just gonna pop this underneath my eye. These bags ain't Chanel. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit on my chin, strip down my nose, and then like a bit on my forehead. I think this is running out too. All my makeup is running out and I'm too poor to buy anymore. Does anyone wanna, you know, give me some free makeup? Someone, anyone, I'm poor, please help. So we're just gonna blend that concealer right in. Now in that picture of Selena, her makeup isn't too matte, so I'm gonna put like a little bit of powder on, but not too much because I don't want my skin to be too mattified. So for powder, I'm gonna be using the same powder I use in every single makeup video I do. This is the MAC Select Sheer Pressed Powder. I'm literally nearly running out of this bad boy. Then we're gonna move on to my eyebrows. So eyebrows, I am using a really cheap product. This is from Primark and this costs one pound. This is the PS Define Brow Gel. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it can be a little messy, but if you're careful with it, it works. At the end of the day for a pound. You know, you can't expect much, you can't expect much. I am trying to go for quite a natural looking brow look because in that picture of Selena, her brows do look quite natural. They look like there's not much product in them. They look, they've got that bushy look, which seems to be a thing right now. So I'm just quickly going through it with this and we're gonna hopefully achieve a similar look to hers. That's the brows done. I don't think they look too bad, to be honest. I mean, they could be better. They're not the best brows I've ever had. On to a winner with that one. Now, I think we're gonna move on to the eyes. So, Selena's eyes. I love Selena's eyes. She tends to keep it quite natural. She has really neutral shades, like the browns and the nudes and the cream kind of colors, but she makes sure it's darker on the outside so her eyes seem more lifted and her lashes are always really natural. I've noticed that a lot of the time she has like eyelash extensions or she puts fake eyelashes on, but she doesn't usually have lots of clumpy mascara. Unfortunately, I don't have any fake eyelashes. Obviously, if you wanted to recreate this look and use them, then, you know, go ahead, you do you, boo. 
but I'm just going to be using mascara. But we'll get on to that once the eyeshadow is done. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Naked Heat Palette by Urban Decay. I just think this is a great palette because it has lots of neutral shades, which is the kind of look we are going for today. I'm just going to start by using the shade Chaser, which is just a really natural shade. And I'm just literally going to run that all over the lid. Next, I'm going to go in with this colour there which is called sourced and it's just a bit of a darker color i guess 10 out of 10 for explanation skills there and i'm literally sort of going to run this through the crease to darken it up i'm then once again going to move across and i'm going to be using this brownie shade which is called low blow and I'm gonna sort of just use it on the outer part of the crease, just so the end parts get darkened up more than the inner parts. I think we can all tell I'm not a makeup artist by the words I use. And then to darken it up even further, I'm then going to be going in with this shade here. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Cayenne? Cayenne? I'm not too sure. This one here, which is just basically a deeper brown shade. And again, we're going to stick to the outer corner. But then I'm also going to start running this colour underneath the lash line a little bit. And I'm also dragging it down to like... And yeah, you can see. So now I'm going to switch eyeshadow palettes and I'm going on to this one, which is the Death by Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette by I Heart Makeup, which I believe is part of Makeup Revolution's range. So these are just the shades inside. And I'm just using this palette simply for the black shade because Selena has sort of black just underneath her eye and on the top part just at the edges because like I say she has it quite defined at the edges. I'm literally just going to take a bit of the black and run it underneath. Now we've done that I'm going to then take this really pale shade it's sort of in between cream and white and i'm literally going to use that shade to try and blend out the edges of the eyeshadow then we're going to go back in with the urban decay naked heat palette and we're going to go back to the shade chaser which we use and i'm just going to use my finger and then sort of on the base of the lid near the front i'm just going to rub that just to give it a little bit more color so we're not seeing the natural skin so that is the eyeshadow done and now we're moving on to mascara for mascara to start off with i have this one right here which is by ted baker i absolutely love this package and it's just so simple but it's so nice <laughs> a tiny bit of this mascara to the bottom lashes too so that's all the eyes done all the eyes i've only got two eyes how many do i think i've got jesus am i collecting them oh yes dear i collect coins oh, i collect eyeballs anyway now we're going to move on to the rest of the face kind of makeup so we're going to do what are we going to do next we're gonna do bronzer next and that's what we're gonna do for bronzer i'm just gonna be using this one from matt and i believe this is from like their tribal collection selena never goes too heavy with the bronzer so we're gonna keep it quite subtle i guess i'm also just putting like a tiny bit down my nose as well now we're moving on to blush so in this picture selena's blush seems to be quite an orangey toned so i've gone for this pinky one the lid has fallen out but this is also from the mac like tribal collection and this is in the shade modern mandarin 
I don't know why I'm doing a close-up of the packaging. I should really be doing a close-up of the product. YouTube of the Year Award goes to... Not this girl. Oh, hello, where have I gone? You can't see me. Grow up, honey. Grow up. I honestly annoy myself so much, like, how does anyone put up with me? How do I put up with me? So highlight is another thing which Selena keeps quite natural, so we're just going to be putting like a little bit of highlighter on. But for that, I'm going to be using the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I'm just going to pop a little bit down my nose, a little bit on the cupid's bow, and then obviously on the cheeks. So Selena's lip, she's got quite an orangey nude colour going on so i've gone for the most orange lip color i've got which is this one right here this is the super matte liquid lipstick which i got from new look and this is in the shade gingerbread i know this color is a lot lighter than selena's but like i say it's the most orange one i've got and I would usually put a lip liner on when I'm doing my lips, but I don't have an orange tone lip liner, so I didn't want to be putting like pink or like a dark brown. That would have just look stupid. But I do have like an orangey coloured gloss, which if you want to make you look a little bit glossy, you could just pop a bit of this over the top. I absolutely love the smell of this. So minty. This is the Honeyed Lip Gloss by MUA. It's their Glow Collection, which came out last summer I do believe. This is the finished look. I mean, stood next to Selena, I would look like a pile of trash, but we're not gonna speak about that. This is me giving it my best attempts. Anyway guys, that's the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, please smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new here, please do subscribe, stick around, it would mean a lot. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>